Всем привет! In this video I want to show you my most used tool Super Select. It's an enhanced version of regular select all instances and the best part that you are not limited to a single selection at a time. This tool improves your selection speed a lot and without further ado, let's dive deeper. This tool is part of EFTools extension. It's available for everyone absolutely for free and it's not hard to install it. I have a video on my channel that shows you how to do it. Link will be in the description of this video. Now, let's focus on CAD files. Before I dive any deeper, let's change our shortcuts to these new tools. To do this, click KS to open shortcuts menu. First, let's remove our old uh, shortcuts by typing select all instances. And here are these two tools. Click on here and remove. Now to replace them, let's find our super select tool and assign the same keys. SS for that one, SA for this one. There's a good chance you're not gonna find super select here if you've just installed EF tools. You will have to restart your Revit and once you come here, they should appear. Okay, now click OK. And let's see if the shortcut works. And it works, great. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this tool is similar to select all instances. But you finally have the ability to select multiple types at once. And to top it off, it doesn't compromise your performance. You can also handle more categories and have different logic for some of them. For example, it will select lines based on their line style. If I select this orange one and click SS, see that it selects based on the line style. Similar logic applies for revision clouds but it will be selected by sequence number. Here on the left, I have clouds with sequences from one to nine, and on the right, it's just duplicate. If I select these ones, click SS, it will select similar sequences. In case you want to select all of your clouds, I have another tool in EF Tools tab, select, and here there is select similar categories in view. Click on this one, it will select all of your clouds. You can use it for different elements as well. There's also reference planes that will be selected based on their subcategory. For example, if I select these three different categories, click SS, it selects these ones as well. Just overall, this tool can select pretty much all of the objects. It can select rooms, it can select areas, grids, property lines, sections, scope boxes, plan regions, and so on. If you happen to find any element that doesn't work well with this tool, just let me know and I'm gonna add extra rules for this special element that you're gonna find. In the future I will be adding more selection tools into this pull-down menu, so once in a while, whenever you update EF tools, you can come here and see if anything new has appeared. I'll keep you updated once I add enough tools in there. Just one more thing before I let you go. Half year ago I've posted my source code for this tool to similar Revit idea posted by my colleague. And recently I've noticed that they finally implemented the change in Revit 2022. Multiple selections and extended it to more categories just like I did. I think that this feature was long awaited by the community and I'm glad that it's there. Personally, I don't use Revit 2022 yet. And if neither do you, Super Select will always be there for you for lower versions of Revit. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that you will become a user of EF Tools. You're welcome to subscribe to my channel on YouTube and help me spread the word so more people can take advantage of this extension.